Hi guys! In today's video, we are diving into a critical aspect of IP cameras, the field of view, often abbreviated as FOV. And whether you are setting up a security system at home or in a business environment, understanding FOV is essential to capture the right areas effectively. And if you're looking to bolster your security and explore cutting-edge solutions, don't hesitate to visit our solution page for a comprehensive range of security options tailored to your needs. In today's rapidly evolving world, security and civilian systems play a vital role in safeguarding people, properties, and assets. At the heart of this system are IP cameras, which have revolutionized the way we monitor and protect our surroundings. Their importance cannot be overstated, as they provide eyes and ears where we need them the most, offering real-time insight and peace of mind. And field of view, FOV is a critical concept in the context of IP cameras. It refers to the extent of the scene that an IP camera's lens can capture and record. FOV determines what the camera can see in its surrounding and play a vital role in surveillance and monitoring applications. The lens focal length is a significant factor in determining field of view. IP cameras with wide-angle lenses have a border field of view, allowing them to capture a larger area in a single frame. And the size of the camera's sensor also influences the effective FOV. Larger sensors can capture a wider field of view compared to a smaller sensors, which have a more limited field of view. And the camera's position and mounting height relative to the scene impacts the observed field of view. And there are different kinds of lenses, fixed lens and very focal lens. Fixed lenses have a set focal length, meaning they cannot zoom in or out. They offer a fixed field of view and are ideal for capturing specific, unchanging scene or monitoring particular areas without the need for adjustment. And very focal lens offer the flexibility to adjust the focal length, allow you to zoom in or out to capture different areas or objects of interest. And they offer versatility and adaptabilities, making them ideal for a situation where the civilian area or swimming requirements may change. One more thing that's very important is understanding the pixel density, because it directly impacts image quality, screen resolution, print quality, the ability to zoom and crop, and the overall user experience. Pixel density in the context of civilians refers to the concentration of pixel within a given area of an image or a video frame. It is typically measured in pixel per inch or pixel per square foot per unit. The higher pixel density allow for finer details to be represented, which is crucial for identifying objects, individuals, or events in civilian footage. So maintaining a balance between a wide field of view and adequate pixel density is a critical consideration in civilian. A wide field of view allows for a broader area to be monitored, which is beneficial for situational awareness. However, widening the field of view without considering the pixel density can lead to a reduction in the number of pixel available to represent objects or individual within the frame. So this trade-off can result in a loss of details and hinder the system's ability to identify and recognize important elements. So now I'm going to introduce you to some of our IP cameras and compare their field of view. First one we have here, the 5MP PoE bullet camera with very focal lens. It allows you to adjust the focal length manually, giving you the flexibility to zoom in or out as needed for optimal civilians. And next, this one is the 5MP IP camera with remote focus and zoom capability. You can set up this camera easily and conveniently to monitor or safeguard property and catch more details with extremely clear image. 
What's more, the compact size and the intelligent person detection can provide a greater security for indoor civilian needs. Last but not least, we have this big boy, which is the 5MP PoE Plus PDZ camera. Now, this camera is a common tool to help small to medium sized business to enhance video civilian in a large coverage areas with ultra high definition image. And it has 30 times optical zoom capability, endless 360 degree pan, and 1 degree above horizon tilt angle, offer an overall civilian coverage. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and the three cameras are already mounted on the wall. So let's check out their zoom capabilities. On the monitor, we have three different channels which present the three cameras. Over here is the PDZ camera. It has 30 times zoom capability. So let's right click it. We can see the PDZ control. It is already zoomed at 30 times. So now let's zoom out and we will see a pretty large area. And you can also move it around through this panel. You can go left and right, and also up and down. So this is the PDZ camera. And next we have the bullet camera with very focal lens. Now I'm going to manually adjust the focal length First, you'll use a screwdriver to unscrew it. And the manual control is inside. All you need to do is look at the camera and adjust your area. Now you can see it's blurry. And let me adjust it. And this is how you can adjust the very focal lens manually. So when setting up civilian system, several key considerations should guide your decision making. First, take into account the distance between the camera and the object that you want to monitor, as this influences the ideal field of view. A wider field of view is suitable for a nearby target, while a narrower field of view is better for object at a distance. Additionally, in critical areas, it is wise to employ overlapping coverage from multiple cameras with different lenses type to achieve both wide range and detailed identification. Opting for cameras with adjustable lenses, such as PDZ camera, can provide flexibility in adapting the field of view as needed. To aid in planning, consider using software tools or application to visualize camera coverage and field of view on site. We do have a website to recommend. You can fill it through our description box below. And lastly, it is crucial to avoid a common mistake like placing the camera too high or too low, which can result in incomplete coverage, and choosing an inappropriate field of view that compromises the capture of important details. That's why you can go onto the website and plug in your information, and it will give you appropriate heights, where you place it and the angle, and also the pixel density that you need. These considerations collectively contribute to the effective deployment of civilian system. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining us, and I'll see you in the next video.